Uh, today was great fun, and um, Woody peaked right at the exact time I needed him to. He's been quite uh, calm and collected all week, and um, today when I got on him this morning, he was a bit more flashy and ready to go. I don't know if the sun cheered him up too, but uh, um, he also concentrated hard, and, and um, it was easier for me to concentrate and um, think about what Clayton's been trying to teach me. A huge difference, a uh, very British background, which I'm very used to because that's most of my trainers are from a British background, including my mother. So I really um, hear a lot of the same things. I don't know if that's good or bad, <laughs> but at least there's no contradiction. And um, the horses have all improved, um, even just looking at the horses, their top line and their trapeziums and their overall softness on their backs. They've bulked up in muscle, all of them, and they have um, extended their stride and, and their you know, frame and um, there's a lot more flow to the course because of it, because they're not all bunched up and, and they have enough muscle to carry their skeleton and do a good job. So, um, as well as the morale, it's just been really fun. And um, Clayton said before we got here, you know, you have to enjoy the process because um, we've all got to be there and do our jobs, but at the same time, it can't be miserable because it's already tense as it is. And that has made it even more fun the Canadians are not a super tense group, so it's fun to let rip. Uh, 49 point something? Eight, maybe? I wanted to break into the 40s, yeah. And um, I um, heard that I didn't get a very good mark on my first change, so I will keep working on those. And um, that will hopefully bring up the mark. And then uh, the medium and extension is always something with him. Um, but today I felt like I went for it a little bit more in the ring and I wasn't so timid. Um, there's always room to improve in dressage, that's why it's called stressage. <laughs> uh, it's getting better, I, I really trust him. Um, I find him quite big uh, to ride on the flat and I need to strengthen up you know, my position and make it look a little bit more like William Fox Pitt. But um, he has got a wonderful attitude, everybody loves working with him, the vets, the farriers, the support staff, you know, uh, including me, and he doesn't get too excited ever. Uh, he's a lot like Columbo in that sense, he's, um, and he's a true competitor. When he went in the ring today, he sparked up a little and got a little looking, but then he settled into it right before he went in, and it gives you that extra bit of, you know, artistic marks sort of thing. Uh, they're great. It's such a great bunch. Um, Peter's a great addition. Those guys went to London with him, but I have not. And uh, he's got a great attitude and is um, very genuine. And we're all having a great time joking around. And Maisie Manor was fun as well as France has been great. I know. I watched them all t yesterday and today and thought, oh gosh, I got to bring it. <laughs> the pressure was on from my own teammates, but that's good. Yeah, I haven't walked it since they shortened it. Um, I, d I have walked it three times, and I'll go out and check out the bits they've taken out. I'm actually really appreciative of that, being a young horse. I want them for the future, and um, that's a lot to do out there, especially if the going becomes a little bit sticky and clumps to their hooves and stuff. So um, I'm really excited. I'll be glad to get the corners out of the way, and uh, the rest of the course is suited to him. I just need to ride what I've been practicing, and a little bit of luck goes a long way as well. Uh, Woody's actually done that once before at Guadalajara and I let the um, pressure get to me a little bit in terms of speed. Uh, that was also a very long course and I never let him take a breath and I uh, learnt my lesson. So that's all out of the way and we're going to do a good job of being anchor this week.